Hey there Capricorn, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to go ahead and get into a reading for those of you who are in separation from a person and a partner. Um, we will see what the energy has for you and feel free to check your other placements, your other videos for your other um, sign placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, sometimes the messages will be there. And uh, just see what resonates here. This is a general reading for you, so if something makes sense, then maybe that's information for you. Thank you for those who have reached out um, for personal readings. Thank you for those who have donated. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, feel free to like this video. I appreciate it. Let's get started. Show me the energy of the person Capricorn is dealing with. What is they, what is they feeling? <laughs> what are they feeling? The energy, the feelings of the Capricorn, of the person that Capricorn is dealing with. What are the feelings of the person that Capricorn is dealing with? Two of swords here for the energy of how they're feeling about the situation. Probably very quiet at this time. I mean, this is a separation reading, so a lot of consideration, a lot of things being thought about, but no decisions truly being made yet. She made this person's intentions here in any eight of pentacles. So that's a good indication that they may be very busy in their own life right now, putting attention to their own business their own details in life show me their behavior you have the three of pentacles popping up here for their behavior which is positive show me how capricorn is feeling about the situation on the three of pentacles and it's actually the two of pentacles here we've got a lot of pentacles in this reading <clears throat> capricorn what you don't see what capricorn doesn't see in this situation what capricorn doesn't see you have the star coming out in reverse Show me the outcome energy. Eight of Swords with the Ten of Cups. Can you show me advice for the situation. It's popping out of the Eight of Cups or Eight of Wands. Uh, the Two of Wands in reverse as advice. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. So clearly already we can tell in this situation, Capricorn, that there's been a considerable ending here. Something has been problematic. There's lack of communication at this time and a whole heck of a lot of anxiety. Um, it feels like being separate at this time is probably the best idea for the both of you. Okay. Um, people that you might be dealing with could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, that's the only... I mean, there's a bunch of other energy here popping up too, but that's the only like major that's our, that's here. Um, okay. So yeah, in regard to how this person is feeling, they're keeping to themselves. They're likely very much working in their own business, in their own situation. They're keeping to themselves. Uh, their behavior is, um, as far as this situation is concerned, it may be one of like, they're open to connection, but like at this time, things are kind of quiet. Things are not being like actively taken. Um, you know, I feel here with this advice card too, with the two of wands in reverse, it's going to talk about like giving up on a situation. They may have like given up on this situation. Some of you may have kept this person as an opportunity or an option, or maybe this is needing to be flipped. Feel free to feel 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 free to reserve. Oh my God, Porky freaking pig! Feel free to reverse the roles, Lord Jesus. <laughs> That's all, folks. Good Lord. Um, okay, so yeah, with the Two of Pentacles here, as far as your feelings are concerned, like. 
if you're feeling about this, this person, this situation may make you feel of two minds. It may make you feel uneasy, unsettled. Um, yeah, it just feels like it, it keeps you out of balance at this time. What you don't see is the star in reverse. A star in reverse can indicate a loss of hope. Uh, maybe you're not seeing that this, it, it feels here that this person may have like lost hope in this situation, or maybe you've lost hope in this situation. Um, but yeah, it's a loss of hope. It's not seeing clearly through things. It's feeling like, um, kind of a destitute energy. Um, yeah. So they're probably going through it pretty heavily at this time, Capricorn. It feels like this person may be going through some really deep emotional stuff and perhaps they're like trying to focus their energy on practical matters. But at this time, it just feels like they're alone. As far as the outcome is concerned, we have the Eight of Swords right next to the Ten of Cups. Um, that's a very interesting combination just because it can talk to me about like worrying about the connection here worrying about wanting it's like both of you are worrying if this will come back together i feel like both of you are, are worrying and have lost hope in this situation but nobody's doing anything about it is what it feels like which is also kind of a ten of swords energy where it's like we both are just like we're not making any movements and and by denying any type of like progress in any direction that also is like um, a finality energy. I feel like both of you are kind of in a very similar spot. But things that have been said between the two of you have been problematic and painful. I don't know what this is about here, because it feels like there's a lot of love here, but like this is like betrayal energy. So let's get into it. Is it this one or this one? It's this one, okay? I never use this deck. Oops. Okay. I never use this deck. Hang on. All right, reverse. Okay, just to make sure everything's in order over there. Okay. Yeah, I've had this deck. I, I brought this deck out by accident, I use this deck personally for me when I'm doing my own personal, like, my own stuff for me. But, like, I've never, I don't use this deck generally in a lot of readings. I use it a couple times. This is the, um, the Tarot of Nostradamus, I think it's called. It's the Nostradamus deck. All right, in regard to how this person is feeling, show me the Two of Swords very quiet stalemate type energy here and the chariot popping out judgment and the three of swords yeah this is a lot of heartache but at this person I, I feel like both of you are dealing with a whole heck of a lot of heartache but i feel like this person um <laughs> ten of cups ten of cups it, the love is undeniable here capricorn but so is the hurt. We have to get past this Ten of Swords. For some of you, I will say, some of you um, may be dealing with somebody that had an addiction that kind of caused things to derail. That's for a very slim few of you, but that may be part of why things had to just stop. Um, yeah, I feel this person needs to get through their process of pain here. Um, but they're coming with judgment and they're coming with the chariot, which is it's it's finally getting our energy back together. It's finally getting, uh, you know, it's a self-assessment here. It's like looking at why things fell apart, why we need to find peace in the situation. But that usually starts with inner peace about a situation. So this person, I feel, has a lot of intention to come forward here, Capricorn. It's just a matter of them like, uh, being mindful about like the process of healing that they're going through as well. Can you show me the eight of pentacles in regard to their intention here? This, as far as like this is concerned, then this to shows me that they are also open to working on things with you. Show me their intentions here. 
So you have the devil and you have the wheel of fortune coming out in reverse here. Um, if they've, yeah, especially with like addictions, with problematic behavior, if this person has been somebody that's ex exhibited that type of stuff with you in the past, this is them being mindful on like working on it. This is them changing the behavior because it's like this has been a cyclical situation for them over and over again. And whatever this toxicity is, it's coming out changed. This is a healing aspect. Yeah, you have the eight, um, I'm sorry, you have the seven of pentacles in reverse. So this type of like behavior that's been problematic for them, they're stopping it. The seven of pentacles in reverse is stopping it, not giving any more of their life to it, not giving more of their efforts to it, not any more of their money to it. Like whatever it is that they've been like kind of been problematic in their life, they're stopping that full stop here. And I feel like there's a deep connection to it for them. Um, maybe where they've lost a lot of hope in this world, but like, I feel like this changes things. bottom of the deck the moon the moon indicates an energy of internal like subconscious um fear uh emotional distress emotional confusion not being settled in the emotions pisces energy cancerian energy this person's behavior here the three of pentacles for for capricorn you have the ace of cups You have the eight of swords and the uh, you have the eight of swords and the uh, four of swords. So the four of swords is an energy of recovery here, um, and the eight of swords is this energy, worrying, worry, worry, worry. I feel like this person is worried that things are going to be. Um, I feel like this person is worried that things aren't going to come together again and that's not what they want this person wants to have a second chance here this person i feel like they're deeply worried because they know like they've screwed something up here or like something has been really really derailed here but like the whole energy of their growth is integral for the situation to move forward it's like it's like you know the path that was created here that we were initially on it's completely stopped it's completely stopped to get anything off the ground again is like a full like shift in everything and i feel like this person is in the healing process like i said earlier i feel like this is in the healing process for this person but, but for both of you jupiter Jupiter expanding awareness, Jupiter expanding health, Jupiter creating rapid health in this situation. So the two of pentacles here in regard to how Capricorn is feeling. There's that ten of cups, ten of cups, ten of cups. of wands the emperor could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius primarily aries um the moon here i feel you're healing just as much as this person is just in different ways here um i also feel here too um capricorn my nose is super itchy now um the situation it's like you're I feel like you're more patient in regard to how you approach this situation. It's like you're you're kind of giving this person like freedom to heal um, and you're healing through it as well. But I feel like there's an element of like allowing for the process of healing to be free. Like it's 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 
it feels very much like that, but it also feels like you're like putting your efforts towards situations that are going to be best, best for you. It feels like you're mirroring each other in a lot of ways here, Capricorn. I feel like for the success of this connection here, because the love is there, but it's like you're, you're, you're patient in the process of how this changes. And I feel like that's going to need to be kind of like a hard line for you. Like, oh, I'm, I'm patient in the process of how this changes, but I'm also not going to rush it. You know, show me the star in reverse for what Capricorn doesn't see. The three of wands sideways. I'm going to just toss it, see how it comes out. It's in reverse. The three, in, uh, especially with the star here in reverse, the three of wands in reverse, it's giving up hope. It's giving up hope, giving up on a situation. Maybe there's been a lot of like times between the two of you where it's like you've kind of had like momentum, but then it's like a stop. Um, here at the bottom of the deck, you have the queen of cups. This is the prophetess. I'm sorry, this is not. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is the queen of cups. My brain. <laughs> this is the queen of cups. Um... Uh, the energy is of being supportive emotionally. It's recognizing when things need to take a pause. It's not willing to rush them because we want the immediate action now. We we realize like why there's a painful pause here. You see the healing in the situation and also you embrace it for yourself. Yeah, but as far as this person, they're healing. There's the Empress here, literally next to the Emperor. This is a foundation that is very real for the two of you. I feel that if you decide to come together, I feel that the situation is something that is absolutely like worth the effort. That's what it feels like. It just feels like it's worth the effort, worth the wait. Show me the Eight of swords here with the ten of cups why are we so worried about the love it's, it's like loss of hope you have the tower and the hangman here two major arcana energies it's like whatever's been on pause here for a while is starting to change the shift is happening here and also the energy of the mind, you know, when we start to see so many limitations and so many roadblocks to a situation, it just stops us. Here, we're getting out of that energy. Here in this hangman, too, you see, like, the sword in this person's head, right? With the moon right underneath the chin. It's all mental energy. It's all mental energy. We need to find clarity in that. I feel somebody is doing that at this time. Three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is a connection energy. This is coming together with somebody who um, is wanting to be present here. Are you gonna... Thank you. Yeah, it's coming together. It's slow, it's slow. Show me the Ten of Cups. Three of Cups. That's a reconciliation energy, you guys. It's reconnections. It's kindness. It's starting in a relationship. It's like starting to reconnect here it's like starting from the beginning again which is kind of the energy that i'm picking up it's like everything is changing here the whole foundation of what was is no longer but it's the intention of what can be and what will be moving forward here but to do the will be it's almost as if like there's a lot that has to be healed before we can actually engage in that direction but it's active Show me the two of wands in reverse as far as advice is concerned. See the seven of cups coming out here with the page of pentacles. 
it's the choice is to the choice is to put effort into a situation again the choice is to stabilize it here even at the bottom of the deck you have the ace of pentacles so this is about new foundations new growth and also healing here especially if somebody's been dealing with addiction the reason i keep harping on addiction in this situation look at that card look at that ten of look at that ten of uh, ten of swords there's a lot of stuff going on in that card you know, sometimes like our problems create um, massive issues within our relationships, obviously. Yeah, even just flipping it there, the lovers, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to get, um, yeah, please. Can you show me? Capricorn, your advice here. Get out more. Go for a stroll. Breathe fresh air. I sabotage just because I'm afraid of love, but I love you. That's the bottom of the card. Bottom of the deck, masking my pain. I've never really been in love. Masking my pain. Family patterns getting in the way of this person. Very well. Capricorn may have been dealing with this type of behavior for a very long time, and the shift is happening for them now. Masking one's pain through addiction, masking one's pain through negative uh, attachments, um, external seeking. I sabotage this because I'm afraid of love, but I love you. Maybe it's time to reconnect here. Go out more. Go for a stroll together. Get a breath of fresh air. You know, and maybe you just need to do that on your own, just so you can clear your head. Uh, either way, it feels here that this person loves you and you love them, and it feels like situations are being healed in a very slow and intentional way. And uh, if you want to make room for that, and if you want to be part of that, and this person wants to do that, and they express that, this has to be a dual thing, 50-50, then go for it. It's highly supported here. I love you guys. I hope this is helpful. Take care. Bye.